What's up guys? So we are in Scottsdale, Arizona for Cole Gordon's eight figure boardroom mastermind. And this mastermind is packed with the room of a hundred plus entrepreneurs all making well over a hundred thousand dollars a month. And today we're gonna learn from Cole Gordon himself on how to scale way past eight figures. Plus this weekend we have Patrick Bet David, Rory Sutherland from Ogilvy and Mather as well as Perry Belcher and a few other guest speakers presenting today and tomorrow to teach everyone in the room how to scale in the info product business space. So before the video gets started, if you're excited to learn all of the most up-to-date, cutting-edge scaling strategies from the world's best internet marketers, then give me a thumbs up, comment down below that you're excited, and uh, let's go. sales managers and cap it at literally like five or ten people a month like very very low key but it's not going to be a huge focus for us so back ends sometimes it's just better to create that liquidity offer and then now your back end is really your front what tends to happen is that all business problems get framed as financial problems engineering problems logistic problems the reason those things are still problems is because if there were a straightforward logical answer to those problems, someone would already have found it. The only answer to the problem is the dishwasher solution. It's to have a weird left field idea which only makes sense in retrospect. Okay, so we just wrapped up the first half of day one at the Cole Gordon Eight Figure Boardroom Mastermind. Just got done eating lunch and a lot of takeaways already. The main takeaway I wanna share with you right now is this right here. I'll put this on the screen. This is a picture of what is called a self-liquidating funnel. Self-liquidating just means that you spend money on ads to acquire customers because you're selling a product, right? You're not doing a sales call where you're typically just getting calls booked. You're actually selling a product from the funnel, which is this model right here, so that you can get customers. But the reason why you do this offer is so that you can acquire customers for free. Let's say you spend $5,000 on ads and you get $5,000 worth of revenue back. Now you have what's called a self-liquidating offer because you're acquiring customers for basically free. The money you spend on ads is coming back to you in revenue. Now, here's what most people do and the reason why they use this type of funnel is to get free customers. However, what Cole Gordon is doing is he reversed the way he thought about this. He had a different mindset and approach to this specifically. What he is doing and what he discovered was about 70% of the leads that go through a typical high ticket VSL book a call funnel don't even like book from the VSL and buy. They actually get closed from appointment setters. Again, we've talked about appointment setters on my previous videos. I'll put a link to that like right there where you can check it out about how appointment setters can actually help you book up to three times as many calls every single day, every single week, and every single month, especially when you're running ads to a high ticket VSL book a call funnel. With all that context on the table, the reason why Cole is using the auto webinar funnel, okay, to uh, lead to a $1,000 program, which is uh, basically a lower ticket offer to get people through the door, isn't even to acquire customers. He's doing it to acquire more leads so his appointment setters can have more leads to call to then book on their calendar and the closer team's calendar to sell their high ticket offer. It's a totally different mindset and Cole talked about it in the mastermind. I wish you were here. With this model, the whole goal of this is to get opt-ins. And if you have an appointment setter, you need at least 30 leads to feed that appointment setter with ads per day to be able to give them enough work, right? Now, how does it help you? Well, number one, a self-liquidating funnel might be good for you if you do it in the right sequence. If you're just starting off, don't even listen to anything I'm saying right now and just skip to the uh, next part of this video because you are gonna overwhelm yourself you are gonna be so lost and you should not have any, 
you shouldn't be doing this at all, okay? The first funnel that you need to use to get from zero to like 30K or even 100K, you know, maybe even 200K a month is a group funnel, okay? Where you're running ads to an opt-in page to get people to join a Facebook group or a school group. And then you have a team of, you know, VAs or appointment setters actually messaging the leads that are coming into your free Facebook group and they're actually getting them to book calls on your closers calendars to then sell them to your high ticket five to 10K offer, okay? That's the funnel that most people should be starting with, especially if they're just starting out. We've had clients scale this up to about 200K a month at the max, but then the way to scale from 100K to a million dollars a month is using the high ticket book a call VSL funnel, okay? Now, this funnel scales much better our clients usually do anywhere from $500,000 a month to a million dollars a month plus with just this VSL book a call funnel, appointment setters, and getting people to book calls for a five to 10K offer. Now, what this does is the self-liquidating funnel comes in in stage three. So you have the Facebook group funnel, you have the VSL book a call funnel, you're doing about a million dollars a month. Now it makes sense to introduce what's called the self-liquidating funnel, AKA, the auto webinar funnel model that's on the screen right now. What's the point of this? Well, there's two models, okay? Again, the first model is some sort of low ticket, zero to $97 uh, offer with upsells and OTOs and downsells. But the second model that Cole actually cracked the code to and is crushing, making more profit with less sales team, having more fun, way easier to fulfill, is what's called the auto webinar, okay? selling a product for one to two thousand dollars okay now the reasons you should do this if you're already doing about a million dollars a month is you're close to and cole said this you're close to or past a million dollars a month and your p l meaning your profit and loss is getting squeezed by ads you're spending so much on ads but the profit isn't getting any higher right uh the second reason why you should do this is your outbound team is dialed in all right, your appointment setters are dialed in, your closers are dialed in, and basically ads that are booking on your calendar from the VSL are just meaningless. Like your appointment setters are basically doing all the work like we talked about right now, which they should be because that's what we're seeing with our clients. Most of their sales are coming from the uh, calls that the appointment setter is booking, not the actual VSL, okay? That's the second reason why you should do this. Now, the requirements you need to have before you even think about doing this, even if you have those two reasons checked off. Number one, your copywriting has to be a 10 out of 10. This is a hard feat to undertake and Cole went on to explain why he had such a hard, painful time doing this. It was, he was always complaining about it to his team about how much it was like hurting him to write this uh, auto webinar. You're basically writing a one to two hour webinar, right? That's a lot of copy to write and it's gonna take a long time and a lot of tweaking to get to work to cold traffic. Bottom line. So your copywriting has to be on point, essentially. Number two, you shouldn't do this if you haven't cracked the VSL, okay? If you can't crack the VSL, there's a 0% chance you'll get this to work. Now by VSL, we're talking about a five to 25 minute video sales letter, and we're talking about it being indirect. There's two types of VSLs. There's direct, and then there's indirect. Direct is just uh, high ticket coaches and course creators, we can help you get 25 qualified book calls on your calendar every single week guaranteed using our YouTube ads HSD system. It's very direct, it's a very direct offer, right? I can run that in the ad, I can say that in the VSL, and when they get on the call, they know what the offer is. It's a direct offer VSL. But there's an indirect VSL, which is the best way to acquire leads and calls and clients in 2023 is using this little known traffic source that most people don't know. Like, you see how I'm kind of like not saying YouTube ads, but that's really what I'm gonna be pitching on the VSL. It's indirect, meaning I'm almost creating it like it's a unique opportunity. If you can't crack that to cold traffic, this is gonna be 10 times harder. So you shouldn't run a self-liquidating offer or even try it if you can't crack an indirect VSL, which appeals to a much broader audience, okay? The third requirement, your setter team has to be firing on all cylinders, which means you have to have a setter team in the first place to even think about doing this, and they have to be dialed in, and you have to be willing to train them to do that. And they ultimately make this self-liquidating offer successful, okay? So with all that being said, this has allowed Cole Gordon to have a leaner team, more profit, more fun, and allowed him to scale and revive his Remote Closing Academy funnel to new heights that 
are even better than what they were before, better fulfillment, better client success, better sales team, leaner sales team, more profit with the self-liquidating funnel. That's my biggest takeaway from the first half of day one. Now I'm gonna head back over to the boardroom and see what they're talking about. So let's go check it out. Day two of the eight figure boardroom mastermind. Everybody in the room has paid $68,000 to be here. And you know what that means. That means that day two is gonna be even more stacked than day one because today we have a very special treat for you watching this video right now and for me being able to experience it Patrick Bet David is going to be speaking today and if you don't know who Patrick Bet David is he is the founder and owner of the company called Valuetainment if you're in the personal development industry just like me and you've been watching guys like Grant Cardone on the come up you know who Patrick Bet David is um, and more importantly He's gonna be dropping some fire today. We're gonna to head inside and say hi to everybody else. Let's go. What's up guys? I just ran into Orlando who I met <laughs> yesterday at the Mastermind. And Orlando, tell them about yourself. And honestly, just tell them the one thing that you would tell most real estate agents. You were just telling me, man, most of them just don't do video and they're lacking on the video side of things, right? Yeah, to me, when we are teaching agents, you know, how to increase their production, the most important thing to me, it's video. Why? Video. It not only changes the perception of your audience, your authority, but the most important thing to me, it changes you. Mm. Your number one thing as an entrepreneur is your ability to communicate 100%, with people. 100%, right? Yeah. So by doing the videos every single day, it's improving your knowledge, the structure yeah. of what you communicate, yep. and your confidence, which at the end of the day is what you're selling, your building, confidence. Also building know, like, and trust with the audience too, so they can trust you to, to handle their real estate deals. Yeah, so if you wanna learn more about that, this is the guy to do it. I'll put his social media right here. Check him out, and you won't be disappointed. So, uh, if you had to put one thing to share, what would that be? You know, I would say it wasn't like a new takeaway, but it was kind of, we, we've been recently doing a lot right. And one of the thing, a lot of those things were basically reconfirmed in different words, but I think the ultimate foundation of all of that was like, you actually have to give a f about people. Like you can't fake that. It is impossible and you will eventually be found out. And we were talking about this last night is yeah. things, your business will grow or your business will die as fast as it grows. Mm. So if you're doing a moonshot type of Dogecoin thing, you saw yeah. what happened with that. That happens with businesses too, like at FTX, Yeah. right? Yeah. It's what, things will die as fast as they grow. So as long as you actually give it, yeah. you're cool. Cause that will come across no matter what your headlines yeah. are, no matter what your copy is, yeah. no matter what really your deliverables are, all of that helps. But what people will buy is you and the feeling they get of knowing that they're actually in really good hands. So who knows what similar audiences on YouTube, anyone know? It's like look-alike audiences on Facebook. Right? Exactly, yeah. Are those good? They're gone now. Oh, they're gone. So now you have to use optimized so. targeting. So that's why... That's what they're replacing it with. So you need to use optimized targeting to expand the audiences to find even more people. What business are you in? I'm curious. Is this all, are most of you consultants? Are most of you running a consulting business? Yes. If I call somebody, they tell me their name. I Google their business. I see what they've done. And they tell me he took our business from 10 million to 38 million. He helped us go raise this much money, we did this. He helped us do that, he helped us do this. You're legit, fantastic. Guess what? That's cool. Expertise. Are you good at what you're talking about? Based on what? We'll talk about that here in a minute. Exposure. Honestly, when I Googled you, I saw nothing. I don't see you anywhere. I saw a channel with 222 subs. I saw Instagram with 17,000 followers. I saw LinkedIn and I saw this, but I didn't see a lot on you. So I'm a little bit hesitant about paying you this fee. That's our job with those three things. So if you leave this place and what do I need to work on to increase my market value, boom, boom, boom. So we can give you all the tactics in the world, all the strategies in the world. If you don't alter the way you're approaching your business, I promise you, what you've been doing, you'll feel like you're running on a treadmill in about three months from now. You're like, shit, nothing seems to be working. And if you're backing into the goal, if you're only thing, we need to protect our business. I said effective and efficient, both. But if you're backing into the goal, then you're not out front. You can't score goals. We must innovate more now than ever before. 
two just wrapped up with the man himself, Cole Gordon. Yeah. I mean, dude, phenomenal PBD. Rory Sutherland from Ogilvy, Dean Graziosi, Perry Belcher on email automation. So, I mean, honestly, dude, how do you think the event went? Crushed it, right? Well, well you know, here's what I'll say is it was the most fun I've had in an event. Yeah. And, you know, I, I kind of created the speakers and created the content about what I wanted to, you know, what would be super fun for me, what would yeah. be valuable for me, because I have the same business type that you guys have. 100%, yeah. Right? And I think that that transferred over well. And I think feedback wise, it was the best one we had. So, 100%. my only fear, my only concern, it's going to be hard to top the next one. So. <laughs> well, when they see this video, they're going to want to join, trust me. Yeah. Thanks for putting it on there. Dude, thanks for doing this. Yeah. Okay, day two kicked off with a team panel where Cole, Mitchell, and Brian on Cole's team were on stage, and it was basically a QA. and uh, I got brought up for a quick second to talk about YouTube ads, but the main question I wanted to share with you and the main takeaway is somebody asked Cole, hey Cole, when you were first getting started after leaving Traffic and Funnels, which is where Cole Gordon was working full-time before, how do I, as somebody, if I'm just starting off and I don't have the clients, I don't have as much credibility, I don't have, have as much brown, brand power, how do I convince and, and sell you know, effectively to an audience that doesn't know me? How do I build authority, social proof, and credibility? And Cole shared exactly what I did when I started adspend.com. And it's funny because he actually followed the same path that I did. Anyways, that wraps up the video. That's the last of it. I'm gonna hit some sleep, it is late. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave the comments down below. Let me know if you like this video. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to watch another video just like the one you're watching right now, I actually did a mastermind recap full day in the life at the Sam Ovens Quantum Mastermind. You can watch it right over here. This is one of my best videos I ever made besides this one, of course. So click on that video and I'll see you there. Right now we are at the airport about to head over to LA, flying from Miami to LA for the Quantum Mastermind to spend the next three days with Sam Ovens and the rest of the members.